Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can create your own customer support portal using WordPress with all the features in it. This customer portal will allow your customers to create tickets from your website and also allow them to reply and view alerts and notifications of their ticket directly on their email address and giving you the power to manage all your agents, customers, products and customers tickets directly from one dashboard. So by the end of this video, you will have a full plus customer support portal running something like this where your customer can create tickets and also your agents can reply them and manage all the tickets from the back end. So we are going to do this using one simple plugin which is Fluent Support Pro and you can get it for a great discounted price by visiting the link gine.us slash Fluent Support or the link are also given in the description below. And the process is going to be very easy and quick and in no time, you will have a full fledged customer support portal running something like Help Scout or Jandesk or any other SaaS companies and you will have all the features right built into your WordPress website which you can easily use and save thousands and thousands of dollars every year. So let's get started. Hi, I am Neeraj Kashyap from Blogsprout and in this video I have broken down the entire step how you can create your own customer support portal using this plugin in few simple steps. So I have broken down this video in four steps which is the first is the normal setup for the plugin. The second is the automation. The third is the email inbox, whether you want to create a web-based support portal or an email-based support portal. And the fifth is the overview and the analytics of the plugin. So let's dive in right into the Fluent Support. So the very first thing you need to do is to get your own Fluent Support plugin. You can get your own copy of your Fluent Support by clicking on the link given in the description below, or you can just visit gine.us slash Fluent Support. Or if you are reading it on my website, then just click on this blue button. Just click on this blue button and you can get your own copy of Fluent Support. When you click it, a new website will open in a new tab. That is the Fluent Support's official website. On that page, you will have three different types of licenses. The first is for someone who has only one website or a one business website. Uh, it has also got a plan for the agencies and for someone who wants a ma massive licenses like of 50 sites. But I think personally most of the users will choose the single site license that is the $129. Just click on that buy now button, fill in your details and complete the checkout process. And once you complete the checkout, you will get a zip file of Fluent Support and a license key. Once you have downloaded the zip code and also saved the license key, you just need to go on your website and log into your WP admin area, go to plugins, click on add new, click on upload and choose the zip file and just click on install now. Once the plugin has been installed, click on activate and after activating it, you will get a new menu on your WordPress admin area known as Fluent Support. This is something how it looks. By the way, when you log in for the first time, it may welcome you with a new message, sometimes known as a welcome message. But in this case, I didn't get any message since I have already logged in. And the first step you need to do is to visit this global settings. Click on that global settings and you will get a few list of options. So don't worry, you don't need to configure all of those and I have just broken down it into a simple step. Just click on this global settings. The portal na page name should be customer support. Just leave this default. Uh, keep in mind, this is a short code. Do not delete this short code because this is where your entire page will load using this short code. Okay. Next, scrolling it a little below, you will find accepted file types. These are the files that a customer is allowed to upload while creating a ticket. Uh, these are mostly used for support purposes. Like if you want your customer to provide certain photos or certain documents or a zip file of some errors or documents or something else, then this is where you can control them. Click on save setting. And now let's go to the second menu, which is the ticket tax. The tax are really important so that you can easily identify which type of ticket or which type of support is related with that ticket and you can easily assign a uh, agent based on that tag. So here I have created a tag which is known as a technical tag and description I have given is like technical support only and the number of tickets right now is zero. You can create it by just by clicking add new and filling these two details and that's it how you can create the tags. The tags are mostly used for the internal purposes uh, and it's not visible for the customer or the one who uh, is going to create a ticket from the front end. Next is the ticket from config. Ticket from config means using a fluent form plugin to uh, create a ticket basically. So uh, this thing has two options. The first is the knowledge based suggestions like sometimes when a customer create a ticket, there are some questions that had already been answered in the past. So if you create a knowledge base uh, with all that questions, 
then whenever your customer will create a ticket or that matches something uh, from that knowledge base the knowledge base will pop up that post directly to your customers ticket so that they can easily solve their customer ticket by their own uh, but don't worry that ticket will all automatically get created in that case so that even if the customer is not able to solve it you can have your customers so here you can enable it just by checking on this box and choosing the type of post that should be related as a documentation so documentation may be your post type or a custom post type so in my case i'm using a plugin which is known as docs or also known as batter docs if you are using a batter doc if you are not just link is given in the description below do check it out uh, that's an awesome plugin to create documentation and knowledge base right directly from your wordpress website so i have chosen that docs here next you need to choose who can access the customer portal and in this case i have choose any logged in user so the user must be logged in to access the customer portal and click on save settings now you need to come to the custom field custom field depends on the type of business you are running and the type of extra information that you want from your customer ticket so in this case uh, we are running a wordpress based company where we sell products and plugins on theme forest and code canyon and for every purchases uh, if a customer makes we generate a purchase code so you can see uh, we have created two custom tickets the first is are you a theme for a scott canyon customer so this is a select one means yes no or true false and the second is the purchase code license code which is a text field so that uh, the user can enter uh, their license code if you want to create your own custom field you just need to click on add new field choose the type of field like single line multiple line numeric selects radio checkboxes if you are running WooCommerce, you will get WooCommerce option. Since I am running Easy Digital Download, so I got Easy Down products and Easy Orders. So suppose if you want a normal text field, just click on single line text. Put the public level. This is uh, this public level means this title will appear to the public. Admin level is only visible for the administrator. Uh, the slug option is something you should keep it unique. And the placeholder is the um, uh, is where the customer will type their default responses. So if you don't want any default response, just keep the placeholder empty. If if you want this custom field to be only filled up from by the agent, then check this box. Uh, if you want this uh, custom field to be entered by the customer, then do not check this box. Well, basically you can understand this is an agent field only. And if you want to enable logic conditions, then you can do it here. By the way, I don't like it because that's a lot of work and it's only good for someone who is like uh, who really wants to automate. Uh, their entire workflow and they are getting a lot of tickets uh, directly in their WordPress admin. Next, click on just add and your customer field will be added to the form. Coming on to the products, this product is only used to create customer tickets. Uh, so don't uh, get confused like whether you are going to sell, sell some services or products. This product are when the customer is going to create a ticket and they are going to choose for which product they want a support. If you are not, if you are if you want to keep this field empty it's not a problem but uh, keeping uh, but if you are selling some product or services then this field can really help you sort all your tickets based on the product about which product is getting a lot of tickets so you can just create a product just by clicking on create new button give a product title and a description click on create and you can click it and your product will be added something like this next is the support stuff you can add unlimited support stuffs uh, just by clicking on add new give an agent email id through which you, uh, the agent will log into your customer support portal the first name and the last name and the job title whether uh, that's a sales uh, expert the sales support like technical support or any other types of uh, you want to give the title and the permissions are like the what are the permissions that that agent is going to have like uh, are they going to see all the reports so they can just <coughs> So are they going to see all the reports? If you want them to see the report, just check this box. If you don't want, just keep it unchecked. And here you can manage all the uh, tickets permission that that agent can have. And just click on create and that agent will be added right here, something like this. Next is the Fluent CRM integration. This is an awesome integration, which is another plugin from the same developer which, uh, which, uh, who has created Fluent support. Fluent CRM. Uh, gets integrated with the fluent support and saves all your customers data like the first name last name birthday email id post record of the customers so that you can give the customers a really personal feedback and a personal search so that the customer is really pleased with your support 
Uh, you can uh, also uh, add them uh, to custom tags and also subscribe them to a newsletter. So you can see here I have created some of the uh, list here like uh, the customer is a free user, bundle customer, plugin customer, something like this. And you can also add text like I have already added a text that that customer is a customer support customer. And just click on save settings and the fluent CRM integration is done. The incoming hook, webhook is something uh, which is not useful right now for the moment. So I will skip this part and I will come to the notification integration. So if you are receiving a lot of notifications and you want a, to get an alert uh, on Telegram, Slack or Discord, then you can get that integration done right here. And that is very simple and easy to integrate just under the bot token or chat ID or an authorization token. If you are using Slack or Discord, just click on save the settings and the, and the integration for the notification it will be done seamlessly. And lastly is the license management. Once you have purchased, you will also get a license key. Just enter that license key here, click on activate button and you will get your license key valid and activated. That means all the update and support is available direct automatically right from your WordPress admin. So this is all the settings that you need to do for your Fluent support to get all the features running. So now is the automation part. If you are someone who like to automate things, this is where you are going to automate. This is known as workflows. And you can see I have just created a workflow here. So if you want to create a workflow, like you want to assign certain agents or certain tags to a ticket, then you can do it here. So here I will just write it as test and I will choose as automatic and I will click on continue. Now I want to assign a tag to all my tickets that are being created. So I will just click on workflow overview on ticket creation. So every time a ticket is created and these conditions are met like that. Uh, the ticket uh, like the ticket okay like the selected product okay the selected product is equal to this product then I want to add a tag like add a tag and I will select the tag as technical and and I will add a title as this is are you same customer customer tag customer tag okay and I will click on save. So now this automation has been created and you can see here webflow has been updated and now just to activate this webflow just click on this box and you can see published that means the work automation is now running and every time a customer who is going to create a ticket and they will select the product I use WordPress theme then the tag this tag will automatically be added to that ticket. So you can also create a tag name tag name based on your product. So you uh, so that will help you filter all the tags based on that product. So that's how the workflow works. The third is the business inbox. Although the name sounds as business inbox, but don't get confused, guys. This is the uh, most important section of the entire plugin. So basically, what does the business inbox means is that this is where how you want to support or how you want to create a customer portal. For your website so if you want a email based portal or you want a web based portal so what does a web based or an email based means a web based portal means a website uh, or a web page on your website where the customer will come enter their name create a ticket and all the response and the customer ticket creations and everything is done on your website that is a web based and an email based is that whenever a customer comes they create a ticket and the ticket will get uh, allotted and notified on their email id and the customer can reply to that uh, ticket directly from their email id so they don't need to come back again on your website so this is the feature that most of the uh, SaaS companies uses like they allow you to uh, reply to the ticket directly from your inbox so this plugin has got both the features so when you create a new inbox you will have two options like a web based and email based so just enter a name like uh, i'll just write like web email based support okay and the email uh, and this is the customer support email so you need to enter the specific email that you are going to use for your customer portal because this is where all your emails will land okay so this need to be a valid email id and this will be working and it should have enough space so that your emails don't get bounced due to lack of space so for us it is like here Oh, let me uh, use another one. Hello at the red glorious motive.com. Okay, and now we will click on add business inbox. 
Now since this is an email based mailbox, you need to configure this setting and this is known as email piping and Fluent support allows you to do this in a very simple step. The first thing uh, as soon as you create a email web support is that you will land on email piping page where it will ask you to agree with the customer support email piping. Email parsing means every time a customer mails to your email ID, that email ID will be copied and will be put on the Fluent support customer portal so that you can manage all your tickets from the customer support portal and all the behind the scenes will be handled from this plugin. So to, do, to get started with that, you just need to agree with and click on get email piping details and you will get a, some, a weird email something like this ending with fluent.support. This is the important part. You need to copy this email and you need to go to your email inbox which is uh, hello at gloriousmotive.com in my case and I have to forward actually auto forward all my emails to this email ID. So once I do I have done that just click on I have done it. You will get a confirmation email ID on your original email ID. Just click on that link and it will redirect back to this same page. And once you have done, just click on I have done it and your email based customer support portal is now active. Now you need to do is go to the inbox settings and you can choose a fancy name here. I have just keep it, uh, made it simple like email based support. Uh, you can choose your admin email ID if you want to get if you want if you are an admin and you want to get all the notifications about what's going on uh, just do it here and you click on save settings that's how you can create an email based support for your customer and for any other reason if you want to create a web based support just fill in these two details and just click on add business inbox and it has got no settings so it, ha it will automatically be handled so these are the only settings that you should do with this plugin to run a full fetch customer support portal just like Help Scout, Gendesk or something uh, that you have seen as a SaaS company. So now the rest of the tabs are the analytics tab. The activities tab shows you all the activities that has been going around on your customer support portal. The saved replies help you to save the most commonly asked questions replies. This is helpful for those who have who are getting the same type of question being asked by their customer and they are tired of answering the same answer. So this is where the saved replies is really helpful. The customer list will show all the list of customers that you are going to have. The report is going to break down each and every part of your uh, customer support portal in different sections like the agents reports, your personal report, the number of tickets being created, how many tickets were created today, how many got closed today, how many have got response from your agents and every other details. The tickets is where the magic happens. This is the part where you are going to manage your ticket, where you are going to create, delete, update, read, assign or reply to any ticket or just see what's going on with your tickets. This is where the magic happens. This has also got a separate section for unassigned tickets. It means that whenever a ticket is being created, uh, it's not been assigned automatically. But if you are running a web flow, then the assign, then the tickets are automatically being assigned to a certain agent. So if a, so, suppose you have multiple agents and you have a newbie agent, uh, agent and his uh, he or she is not very experienced, and you want all the tickets being assigned to him, so that he or she can filter the tickets based on which. Uh, senior agents are going to uh, see this ticket then you can do it just uh, automatically using the work workflow and all the new tickets will be assigned to that uh, particular agent and my tickets is where uh, you are assigned as a ticket or you have created a ticket so this is the part where all your uh, all the tickets that you have got the right or access is you are going is is going to filter it down here the ticket section has also got some of the great filters like you can filter it as per status like open, active, new, close. You can also choose the inbox like uh, the businesses inbox that I have shown just a few minutes ago like a normal web support or an email based support. You can choose or filter it like using the products. Uh, you can choose it from uh, based on the unassigned ticket or like a support agents. You can, uh, you can filter it down on the priority level as per admin or priority level as per customer. You can filter it down using tags you can, and also you can search for a certain username or certain phrases keywords on on your ticket so this is the entire overview of how you can run a great customer support portal using fluent support and that's really easy to use fast and simple and this is the dashboard that gives you a simple overview of what's going on with your customer support portal so that's the simple way of creating your own customer support portal 
so that's it guys for this video i hope you have enjoyed it if you have got any queries you can leave the, in the comment section below or you can also contact me on my website that is blogger sprout and the links are given in the description below where you can contact me and ask me if you have got any queries and if you have got any doubt or suggestion you can also give them in the comment section below or on my website where i really appreciate all the community members and do create tutorials and i answer to their queries and sometimes solve their problems for free that's it guys for this video if you are someone who is non-technical and still after watching this video you are unable to create your own customer support portal then you should contact glorious modic the, the company that has got great wordpress experts on their board and they help you with everything with their wordpress problems whether you want to install something or whether you want to configure your entire wordpress website or design a new theme or create a new plugin this company has got everything for you and if you want to hire the professional support use the coupon code bloggersprout20 where you can get a 20 percent discount for the first booking that you are going to do so that's it guys for this video if you have got any queries do leave them in the comment section below or you can also leave in the comments on my website if you have got any suggestions or feedback you can just join the community forum where i do share really really great things free goodies and free stuffs and a lot of insider tips that i only share with my community member so you can join them either by joining on the newsletter below or joining them on my community website it's both or free so that's it guys for this video so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have really enjoyed this video do hit that like button and share it with your friends and i'll meet you guys on my next video till then keep blogging and do what you love peace